Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm here to show you the 2020 Integra Cornerstone. I'm so excited to go over this beautiful coach and tell you about some of the new features they've added in 2020. Just to give you a few, we've got the 360 camera and we have Easy Steer, and I'll tell you more about those as we go through this coach. All right, here at the front cab of the coach, we have the beautiful Phoenix paint scheme. I think this is one of my favorite colors. It just really pops. I love how Integra backlights its name. I love to be able to tell what coach it is when it's coming at me. When I'm driving down the freeway, we have a little game that I play with my kids, name that coach. I win if it's an Integra because it's lit in the front and lit on the back. They've also put the diamond shield across the front cap. So that's just there to protect your, your paint and make sure when you get the campground that you always wash that off, get rid of bugs that might have a tendency to want to eat through that. Then um, up above, you can see your clearance lights and then that's the first of the cameras that contribute to your bird's eye view when you're inside the coach. Also we've got enhanced headlights and the sea lighting or our show off lights. This is just a beautiful coach. Then we have the chrome exterior mirrors. These are heated and internally controlled and we've got the little signal lights, the marker lights here as well. Here we have our first marker light. These blink this year, so that's really nice for cars that are next to the coach. They're going to be able to see that I'm wanting to get over into their lane. This is the first blind spot monitoring sensor. And then we've got all new for 2020. This is probably one of my favorite things, the chrome handle. I can't tell you how many of my customers change out their old handles for the chrome handle. Integra add, added this to the Cornerstone Anthem and Aspire, so it's an easy little cheat. If you want to know if your neighbor's driving a 2020, all you have to do is look at his handle. Now, there's several ways that you can get into your coach. Obviously, you can use your key fob. You can use your um, keyless pad here. I like this. I can set a, a unique code so I can give it to grandkids or my friend or even a service technician if they need to get in my coach when I'm away. You also can use your key. And I want to tell you a little bit about the key fob here. First of all, when you hit the unlock button, it's going to light your porch light and that's going to stay on for 30 to 40 seconds. I'm not exactly sure the amount of time, but it's a nice security feature as you approach your coach that you get some lights. Now, if you want to give yourself a little bit more light, go ahead and select this button here. That's going to turn on your docking lights. They're going to illuminate the, the ground around your coach. Again, just giving you more visibility. Now, this isn't going to turn off until you turn it off yourself. So you'll want to hit that off when you go inside. Another thing you might want to do is you get two of these fobs. You might want to keep one of these by your bed. Um, at night, if you hear a sound outside, you can just hit your docking lights on. That's going to illuminate the area around your coach. You can look at and see if there's any trouble or it might scare someone or something off. All right, I want you to watch this right here. This is your airlock for your front door. So when I release the park brake to get ready to drive, it's going to pop up there and then it wedges right in here so you get a nice tight seal on your front door. All new for 2020, Integra has raised the fuel fill so that should help with burping of the fuel when you're filling it up. This is a dual fill so you can fill it from the driver's side or passenger side. This is a 150 gallon fuel tank. Then notice the beautiful chrome around the wheel well hill here. Just another added feature. And then we have our 365 Michelin tires. So remember 365 is going to give you a wider tread. It's not just a bigger, I always thought it was like a bigger tire. It's a wider tread with, which gives you a smoother ride. And we have the aluminum Alcoa wheels. So just keep them clean, but you don't have to polish those anymore. Also note the flush slide walls. So this is important. Integra's, um, is the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today, period. And this is one of the reasons that it is. You don't have an edge that catches the wind when you're going down the road that adds to extra noise. So it keeps it nice and quiet. We have the 
dual paned frameless windows all the way around the coach and we have Gerard window awnings, Gerard slide toppers, and then our big Gerard awnings too on this coach that are integrated into the coach so it looks gives it a very nice, beautiful bus-like appearance. So the Gerard awning, we can just use a remote to make those work when we're getting ready for our tailgating party. So I just put it to double zero and hit the out button and they both magically just come out. These are the Gerard with the Nova pitch and they come standard in the cornerstone. Make sure you take notice of the LED lights all the way along the end of the Gerard awnings. We also have that on our door awning and then we have lighting underneath our slide out. So it makes for a really nice um, setting when you come into the campground at night. Now I never leave the campground with my awnings out, but in the case that you forget, leave your coach with your awnings out and the wind starts up and it starts shaking your awnings. There's a sensor and it's gonna retract your awnings automatically. While I've got my handy dandy tool out, I'll show you what this is used for. It's not just to shake your Gerard awnings. So you just simply put it through the loop here and extend your window awnings. And then they just loop right in there. So you actually have three points of contact. One, two, three. So you can leave these out when it is windy. Now that I've got my Gerard awnings out, I'm ready to watch a little TV. Now there is nothing little about this TV. We've got the Samsung TV with the Bose soundbar. Great thing that Integra does is that we can pull this out and we can adjust it side to side. It's got quite a nice reach. And then the best thing, it tilts. So we can avoid that sun glare and really enjoy that. We have a 110 outlet here, another 110 outlet here, and our satellite dish to sat receiver input there. All right, in our first storage compartment, we have the little holder for our Gerard on remote, remote that goes right there. And then we have our Dometic freezer. So this is on a slide tray, so you can extend that way out, especially when your slide's out. Just unclip. And you set the temperature. So you can make this either a refrigerator or a freezer. If you're tailgating and just want to use that for drinks, you can do that. Or if you need to store frozen meat or whatever to take it across country, you can make it a deep freezer as well. In our second bay, we have our power pass-through trays. So these are really nice. You just press the button here. Your tray is going to come all the way here. So it comes out on the passenger side and on the driver's side. So if you have heavy items, it's really nice to have these on these power trays so you're not doing all the heavy lifting. Then another bonus that you get here with the cornerstone, if you've got a heavy tool chest and you need to slide that out, you can just simply lower that lip and then slide it off your tray or slide it back in. Here we have our second pass-through tray and we've got our folding chairs, our extra two folding chairs for the dinette in here. They're nice little covers and Integra also gives us four extra pieces of tile in case we ever crack a tile or anything. We've got the extra set right there. All right, here's another storage compartment. A couple of things I want you to notice. First of all, we have the, the, it's all carpeted, just like the automotive industry does, which just finishes it off really nice. We have our cutoff switches for our inverters, one and two, our leveling jacks, our house power, our battery link, and our gen and fender compartment. Here's our solar panel controller, our dirt devil hookup here, and one to outlet here. All right, I want you to notice that this is where the heat comes in for the basement. You can also check the heat from your Vega touch panel. Then behind this panel, we have our slide module. So if you have a problem with your slides and you can't get them to work, you can st stick a pin in there to uh, bring in or take out the slide rooms. Then we have our splitter for our wine guard. And if you look, Right up here, you can see our two 3,000 3, watt pure sign inverters. And they're, they put them up there 
We can't overpack around them. They have room to breathe and um, they're out of your way. So I wanted to point out the X bracing. Integra reinforces this on the chassis both vertically and horizontally. So it takes all the twisting and torquing out of the chassis, and makes this suspension absorb that versus your home. And here we have our fresh water tank. So I like that they give you this little window so you can see the level of your water tank. Also note that this is carpeted as well. A lot of my customers will find use for this space. They'll use Velcro, hang up extension cords or tools, and you could even find some, you know, items you might want to carry here. Now, this is also where you would do a gravity fill for the water tank. You're probably wondering when you would need that. Well, if you're dry camping and you're not hooked up to city water and you need to bring in some water, um, you can, we have five gallon jugs that some of my customers use. They'll go fill them up and then this is where you would fill this. Also, if you wanted to sanitize your fresh water tank with chlorine or other chemicals, this is where you would add those. We have our marker lights, another docking lights. Remember, these are super important. A lot of people will say they're never gonna pull into a campground at night. Well, it happens to all of us because we never know what kind of detours we'll have or you know something happens along the route we get in a little bit later than we want to so these docking lights are super important you can see rocks picnic tables trees just amazing what will jump out and grab you if you're not being very careful just never be in a hurry when you're in an rv then we have our passive steer tag axle here so you can always tell if you've got a passive steer tag axle if your tag wheel matches your front wheel on your front axle. So it's kind of like innies and outies on belly buttons. You got two outies here. You've got the passive steer tag axle. This is going to give you a much tighter wheel cut and we'll show you that when we do our test drive. This is your second blind spot monitoring sensor and our third blind spot monitoring sensor. You have to have three sensors for a 45 foot long coach. Then we go to our DEF fill. So this is a 15 gallon DEF tank. DEF is diesel exhaust fluid and it's made out of one third urea and two thirds deionized water. Don't try to make your own. You can buy this at the um, gas pump or you can buy it at Walmart. You can carry it with you. Just remember it does have a shelf life of between six months to a year. If you're in Phoenix, Arizona and it's over 100 degrees, you're probably gonna have closer to six months, so just make sure you check that because it can throw you some um, strange engine codes if not. Here we have our chassis batteries. We also have our chassis battery disconnects. Now this is very important. If we are not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers, when you store your coach, you wanna make sure that you turn the cutoff to your battery so that you don't have any kind of parasitic drop. This is the Spartan Power Distribution Center, or I just like to call it the fuse panel. Here's our air dryer. You do need to change that once a year. And this is our air dryer muffler, so you don't get that spurt of noise. And our fuel filter. You need to make sure when you go to store your coach that you always store it with a full tank of fuel. That will keep you from getting any condensation, condensation in your fuel tank, and then you'd have to replace that. Here we have our dryer vent for our washer and dryer machine inside the coach. And then my favorite button, the engine door opener. So I just push that and magically it opens. No wrestling with the back engine cover. All right, so we have our hydraulic oil back in the corner here. That's for our power steering. And then we have our air filter minder. When that is at the top, that means that your air filter is clogged and you needed to bring it to National Indoor RV Centers where we can take care of that for you. This is your engine oil fill and this is your engine oil dipstick so you can check it. This is your coolant. You wanna make sure that that's always full and red. This is your block engine heater. So when it's too cold, it almost feels like it's too cold right now. You just need to make sure that's plugged in and you can warm up your engine. This is your fuel filter, your secondary fuel filter. This is your transmission fluid fill and your dipstick. Or you can check it at the dash, which is a little bit more accurate. And then we have our air filter right here. 
The Cornerstone sits on the Spartan K3 chassis. Spartan has been making chassis specifically for motorhomes for over 30 years. It has the 605 horsepower Cummins ISX diesel charged engine and it has 1950 foot pounds of torque. This is a two and a half inch receiver. It has 20,000 pound towing capacity. So what does that mean for you? That means that you can take your stacker trailer and put in all your toys and your Jeep and you're not gonna fill anything behind you. Spartan has added the safe haul system to this coach already. So basically your airline is right here for you to hook into your, um, for your tow vehicle. And then you've got the outlets here for your tow vehicle's lights. And then you also have the beautiful chrome cornerstone mud flap. Back here, I just wanted you to notice the pretty tail lights, the nice design that they do on the cornerstone. And then again, my favorite backlit Integra in red. And then you'll see another one of our cameras, our rear camera, and then it also con contributes to our 360 camera. Cornerstone comes with a side radiator. This is nice for a couple reasons. First of all, um, it brings in cooler ambient air and the way that they have um, configured these fins kind of sucks, draws that cooler air in rather than taking the air you know, from underneath the coach. Also, that cooler air is gonna help cool the fan better than if you were taking it off the engine, which, which is what you get when you have a rear radiator. It's also easier to service um, when you have a side radiator because you can get to everything back in your engine compartment like I just showed you. This is your DEF or DEF diesel exhaust fluid fill from the driver's side of the coach. You can fill that on either side. Another blind spot monitoring sensor. Your second blind spot monitoring sensor on the driver's side. Docking lights, marker lights. And this is where we store your stinky slinky for the macerator. Here we have the wet bay. I like how Integra nicely labels everything. Here in the wet bay, we have the freshwater hose and that has a, release, a retract and release, so that's really nice. We have our sewer rinse and our connect for our freshwater. We also have the freshwater fill and the hook up to city. So if we wanna fill our tank, we turn it this way. If we're hooked up to city fill, we turn it this way. All right, we have our light switch, our macerator on and off. We have the electric valve for the gray tank and the electric valve for the black tank. And then we have a new monitoring system here so we can see the levels of our fresh gray and black tank. Turn on and off our cargo lights and our water pump. Now here, I love that Integra always gives you a place to put your soap or your disinfectant paper towel so you can clean up after you've done all the dirty work. Here we have the water filter for the coach and we have the nice shower hose which i really like it has a decent faucet here on it so that it gives you some water pressure hot and cold so after the beach you can clean off or if you want to clean your furry friend this is a great place to do it and this is the tool to change that water filter and it's got a nice little spot there for it now behind this panel Here's our Thetford SantaCon macerator. So if you need to pump anything uphill, this is what you want to use. If you're old school, like our CEO, and just want to use the gravity dump, you can hook in right here underneath the coach and pull this T-bar. If we are not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers, and you store your coach somewhere where you may need to winterize it, this is a tube that you would stick into the antifreeze. Turn this valve here and winterize your coach. There's also instructions right here on how to winterize. Here we have our 50 amp shore power cord. Just a little electricity lesson here. This is gonna be your ground. This is gonna be our neutral. Leg one for 50 amps and leg two for 50 amps. So that gives you 100 amps power that are going into your coach when you're plugged into power or running off your generator. Then you have your power retract. So you just hit that. That easily brings that in. I know that looks simple. It is, believe me, if you've ever wrestled with a cold um, shore power cord, you really appreciate that button. You've got your 110 outlet here, and then you've got your cable TV input. 
Back here we have our RV power protection transfer switch. This is a surge guard um, for at the house, but you probably should have one at the pole as well. It's just extra life insurance. That's how I like to um, liken it to that. Extra life insurance is never bad. Protects your coach. Then we have new for 2020 is this aqua hot reader. So it will tell you the faults, diagnose, test, lots of information here, and then you can go back to home. Here you've got um, outlets where you can hook in a hose to add water or where you can take it out for a service technician. You also have your fuel filter for your 450 diesel aqua hot unit. Um, you need to have that service once a year along with the nozzle which is inside this unit. You can bring that to us at National Indoor RV Centers for us to help you. Again, your 450 diesel aqua hot is how you get your uh, on-demand hot water and you use it for your furnace once you drop below 40 degrees. Here we have our power pass-through tray for the other side of the coach, driver's side. We also have our filter for our Dirt Devil Central Vac. And our second power pass-through tray. So again, this comes out both directions. You can see that we've got our hose kit for our Central Vac. But both of these trays will extend this far out. And here is just another big storage location. Just wanted to point out the security light. Those security lights that have the white dot have motion sensor on them as well. And then this is another camera that contributes to our 360 camera and bird's eye view. Here we have our fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach our docking light, and a lot of people ask me what this exhaust pipe is for. This is for your generator. Then behind here we have our power distribution center or a fuse panel for the front half of the chassis. This is another fuse panel for inside the coach. We can charge our batteries here if we need to. And then we have the push button um, for the generator slide. So as long as you're um, engine is in ignition mode and it's aired up. You just press this button and out comes the generator. <laughs> Our third blind spot monitoring sensor for the driver's side of the coach and another marker light. Here we have our Onan generator. This is a 12.5, so it's more power than you actually need. If for some reason your generator is running and you're not getting any power in the coach, you're gonna to wanna to come out here and check this. This is basically your breaker for your generator. If this is off, it's not gonna be putting any power through, so check that. And we've got our windshield wiper fluid here. Here's our fan condenser for the front AC. And then we have our air horn. All right, let's go check out the inside of the Cornerstone. All right, as we come into the Cornerstone, I like to point out some of these buttons right here. So I love that we have our main power disconnect right here. So we can hit that as we're coming into the coach, light everything up, or we can hit it as we're leaving and make sure we'll know that everything's shut off. Um, here we have our power step. So once I'm in a campground, I don't want my step to keep going in and out every time I open the door. That's needlessly using that motor. So I just want to hit the power step so that my step stays out even when my, when my door shuts. Then we've got our step light. And I love how it has Integra backlit again. I just think they do such a nice job with that. Then we have our master uh, switch for our lights and our master switch for our cargo lights. So we can turn those on right here our night master and our day master then we have our awning lights and our security lights so those are the lights that are midship of the uh, coach on the outside we can um, open our awning our door awning here our ceiling entry light our cargo slide out light so that's underneath the slide outs so i can light those up that looks really nice if we're just tailgating and it's in the evening i'll turn on the lights on my awning Gerard on it and then I'll turn the lights on my slide out. Just gives a nice little um, ambiance when you're outside. And then we have our porch light. Another thing that I really like are the grab bars when I walk into the coach. So I've got a nice strong one here to my left and then I have one here on the right. So I can easily 
use those getting in and out of the coach. All right, so here I am in the co-captain's chair. Now the challenge for me is to stay awake because these are really comfortable. They've redesigned these, so they're more like the high performance automobile chairs. They kind of hug you. And so I think they're very, very, very cozy. You also can see that they've got the holes in the leather and that is because these seats are cooled and heated. So it's a game changer, guys. You have to come and try these. I have to come sit in them. So here I am sitting. Now I wanna go ahead and put my step cover out so that I don't fall into the stairwell here. So that's gonna come out and go up. So now I just need to get comfortable. So I've got a lot of controls here I wanna talk about to the left side of my chair. The first one is the cooling and the heating. So if I press the cool button down, I've got three levels. So I just keep pressing it, high heat on now, medium, low, and I've got it off. The next button here is for the seat to recline. So if I really want to get comfortable, <laughs> I would just keep putting that back. And then I've got my lumbar support. So you can adjust that as necessary. And then my favorite one is the footrest. So between that and the backrest, yeah, I'm pretty comfy. I'm ready to go for a long trip. And then I can move the seat forward and backwards, up and down. A lot of times you'll have to adjust your seat. You want to make sure you do that before you bring your slides in, that you've got your seat and the backrest up high enough that your slide room's not going to hit it. Like right now, I'd probably be in trouble if I tried to bring in that slide room. And when you go to turn your chair, spin it around, sometimes you'll have to adjust um, the backrest, bring that up a little bit, and you may have to move the seat forward or backwards. So speaking of that, if you're going to rotate your chair once you're, you're camped and your slides are out, you just pull the lever over here to the side, and then you're able to turn the chair once you've got it in the right position. So I have my slide extend, which I just showed you. Then I've got three buttons. So typically you'd be thinking day shade, night shade, and day shade, but they've changed it. These are all day shade buttons. So I can do the front day shade here. I can do the shade here. And then I have my own personal passenger shade window here, right here. So I've got the controls for all of those, and I've got two USB outlets. I've got my backlit Integra cup holder, space for, you know, pens, pencil, my cell phone, and then we've got the 110 outlet just behind where I can hold my cell phone. All right, let me show you the storage area in the front of the coach. So before I go into the cabinets here, just want to point out these nice map lights is what they call them. And you have to have this turned on at the dash for this to work. But once it's turned on, you can control it from here. You can turn it off. You can make it sort of a night light or a map light or a reading light. And it's directional, so you can put it right where you need it. Now behind this cabinet, we have our solar monitor panel here. So right now I can see that my house batteries are at 13.8 volts. My chassis batteries are at 12.85 volts and the temperature of the batteries are 66 degrees and I'm not pulling in any power from the solar panels because we happen to be inside the building at National Indoor RV Centers. If I was outside in the sun it would let me know how many amps were coming in to the coach. These are our AC overrides so you only need these if your Vega Touch fails. Now this is going to override the thermostat and these will be on all the time. When your Vega Touch is working and everything, you want to make sure these are off. When these are turned on, they will just run continuously. This is where we can extend and retract the slides. Again, if something fails with our Vega Touch, um, we can do it here. So we have our kitchen slide, our super slide, vanity slide, and bed slide. This is our over the air antenna. So if I go ahead and turn this on, it's going to search. And even inside the building, it's going to lock on to a decent number of stations. So right now at five, if I was outside, it would pick up a lot more stations. And this is another place that we can start and stop the generator. Here we have a nice deep cabinet with a lot of storage. 
We have our overhead TV, which this is the Samsung 32 inch TV. Another deep cabinet with storage and we've got two 110 outlets up here. Behind this cabinet we have our power control center or our breaker box. So everything we have the main leg one which is 50 amps of power and main leg two which is 50 amps of power. So when we are plugged into shore power or using our generator we have 100 amps of power coming into the coach. Leg one is going to power everything in red and leg two is going to power everything in blue. Now we have two inverters so we are going to send that power down to the inverter. It's going to pass through and when we are dry camping or going down the road we will be able to run these items off of our inverters. So our bedroom, kitchen, living room, bathroom, and then off our other inverter, the refrigerator, microwave, cabin dash area. Now if you've watched one of my videos before, you know that this is my favorite part. I love to show off the beautiful interiors of the Integra coach. So in 2020, they've gone to this beautiful Italian leather. Integra is one of the only manufacturers that uses real leather. They've changed the ceiling feature and we have the beautiful polished porcelain floors. Now I get asked all the time, what, how can you heat the coach? So in the cornerstone you have four options. Come standard with heated floors and the heated floors are great. Once you get those up to a, a nice level of heat, you can just you can just have the heated floors. It will keep your coach nice and toasty. You also have your heat pumps and your AC. So those are good until about 40 degrees. Once you drop down below 40 degrees, you're gonna need the, to use your furnace from your aqua hot and then our fourth option which i really love is the fireplace so you've got a little remote here for your fireplace you can just turn it on then you can set the temperature if it's really cold in here this fireplace will take the chill off the the room almost instantly i love it and you can set the temperature you can also change the flame so it it kind of dims it so you can kind of set the mood a little brighter or a little less and you can put it on a 30 minute timer so you can just run it for 30 minutes and then it will cycle off so nice little feature there now behind the fireplace here we have kind of our AV center so we have our Samsung DVD player this is our WineGuard Traveler and so the corner screen now comes standard with the WineGuard Traveler satellite. So that gives you HD reception. So this is where you can add your receiver boxes. You also have an option where you can select to add the InMotion Traveler if you like that instead of the HD. And here we have moved our matrix box up top here. So you can link all your four TVs, your main TV, bedroom TV, exterior TV and overhead TV you can play the you know the same DVD that you're playing right here or you can, you've got the DVD the satellite the X site and the auxiliary so if you want to throw an Xbox in here you can hook that right up to the HDMI input right there put your Xbox here on this TV or you could put it on all four we have the 50 inch LED Samsung TV with the Bose soundbar and we have Bose satellite speakers as well then something cool that you can do um, with your remote. So this is the remote for the matrix system. So I'm on DVD right now. One click will take me to satellite. Two clicks will take me to Xite. Three to auxiliary. So I'm going to go ahead and point it at the eye, which is right here on the fireplace. And click it one time and then another time. That will take me to Xite and I'll be able to put my XM radio right here, scroll, th scroll through, pick my station, and then I can listen to the music. It'll actually tell me who the artist is. Um, I need a little help with that. I, I always know the song, never know the artist. So just kind of nice that you have that and it's very easy to use. All right, so we're in the 45B cornerstone. Now the 45B comes standard with the L-shaped sofa. With L-shaped sofa, you get the height of bed here and the two ottomans, which are really nice because you get a little extra storage. You have two other options on the um, 45B. You can get the 100-inch reclining sofa or you can go with the theater seating. 
with the theater seating you'd get two seats then a console then another seat and those are all powered when you go with the theater seating you do lose your bed now this like i said this is cashmere package has a beautiful stonewall gray wood there's also two other packages you can choose from in this in the cornerstone the oxford and the chestnut here is the uh, hide a bed sofa pulled out so you can see that you can easily get two full-size adults on this bed and also note a lot of people want to take their grandkids extra people with them there's plenty of room for another um, blow-up mattress right here if you need sleeping area for other guests so you've got two here two in the master bedroom and if you want you can add more all right so for 2020 they've changed the lighting i really like what they've gone to lighting is a big deal in 2020s they've upgraded the lighting i'm a light person myself i love to have it nice and bright or when it's evening i love to turn down the lights and i'll show you on the vega touch pan how you can dim the lights and set that so it gives you kind of a nice ambiance in your coach um, we have the 110 outlet here then we have nice storage all the way across the passenger side of the coach tons of storage again we have our um, bose speakers another 110 outlet with usb chargers all right a lot of new great features over in the dyna area first of all i'm probably my favorite is the chair this makes so much sense to me i love that we have the fabric and the design the details here on the back but folks it's leather it's leather where we're going to sit and where we're going to eat where we're going to spill our food so i really like that they've this the chair now makes a lot of sense to me very usable you're going to love that you're going to love this change so i think those are beautiful then we have all this storage space i'm going to move that out of the way nice deep drawers here storage cabinets and in our center cabinet here we have our subwoofer chair back another thing that i love that they changed are we've got the led recess lights all the way across the top can't tell you how many times i've hit my head on this lamp that used to hang down and you couldn't get into your storage so now very easy to get into your storage all the way the cross of the dinette here don't forget to notice the beautiful valance window treatments and then i wanted to show you now this is an exit window but you can also use this i i know that if you're out in colorado you want to have that fresh pine smell come into your coach you can just take this there's a little rigid edge here and you can push that open and you just easily as i'm showing you here <laughs> get that to stay out you can see that the window slants so even if there's a little bit of a rainstorm you can keep the fresh air coming into your coach there's nothing better than a little bit of rain and that smell of after the rain i love it this is why we have coaches right one more thing before we head into the kitchen i just want to show you that on the b you can extend your dinette and integra has included two additional folding chairs and again i want to note that the folding chairs are leather not fabric so i think that's a huge improvement all right this is one of the things that i love the most about the new 45b floor plan now as we all know the 45b is one has been kind of integra's bread and butter it's been one of their best selling floor plans they just made it even better with this beautiful hutch so this now comes standard in the b so look how pretty that is and there really is a lot of space three shelves and it's lit i just think they did a beautiful job on that using that extra space it just used to be a wall with a pitcher now we've got drawers and two more cabinets at the bottom then we've got our residential style fridge it's big look at all that and it holds my favorite drink <laughs> that keeps us going during these videos uh, i also like that they give you a lock it's just right there on the door push that down so you want to make sure you lock that before you travel there's also one on the side here for the freezer and you just want to make sure that you put that on your list of things to check before you hit the road 
All right, so now into the kitchen. I love the bee kitchen too. You have this nice big pull out, so you have all this extra space. There's also an, another option for the countertop in the cashmere package as well. Now we can pull out the drawer here, and I've got a cutting board, and that just lifts right out, so I can use that drawer. Plus I can take out, use my cutting board up here if I want to. Again, full extension drawers. Tons of storage up top. And I always like that they give us these pull-out trays so that we can reach the very back of our cabinets. Otherwise, we put stuff up there back there, we'll never see it again. At least I wouldn't. And we have this little cabinet here. You're probably wondering what's that what that is for. That is for your induction cooktop cover. I love that they give us the cover. Not only does it look nice, it extends my counter space if I'm not using the stove, but it also protects the cooktop. This, um, I have had a few people drop their coffee mug on the cooktop and break it or crack it. So this just gives you a little extra, extra protection. And that fits right up in that space here. Tuck it away. So your induction cooktop, you have to use pans that a magnet will attach to the bottom of, and then they'll work right here on this surface. We have the microwave convection oven. Now I've taken out the trays. That's another little trick. When you're driving your coach, you've got these metal trays that go in here. They rattle a lot, so I take those out, especially if I'm doing test drives or whatever. But these work great. And we've got our nice big stainless steel sink. Again, Integra thinks of everything. They've got a cutting board on the back side of our sink covers. Makes those very useful. Double sink here. And something that adds to the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market day period is they give us a place to put these sink covers when we're not using them. So we can just slide those right into their spots. There you go. And you can also kind of move them over and cover some of your dishes if you want to. You can leave you can leave your two rounded ones up there. I'll do this sometimes. Cover my dirty dishes and then you can still use the sink. Yeah, little trick. Um, I also like that they've given you a spot for your garbage can. Extra space behind here. You could put an Instapot. Um, then we've got this nice big drawer for utensils. These are the trays or the uh, rack from my convection microwave oven. And then we have our dishwasher. Nice big dishwasher. Even if you're not going to use it for a dishwasher, you can store things in here. Put your plates and your silverware in there if you want. And then I love that they always give us a place for our utensils. The sliding door just makes those twice as useful, I think. Beautiful kitchen. Integra's added an outlet under the cabinet above the sink and over here to the side of the kitchen countertop. Here we have our CO2 detector. And then how do we keep these beautiful floors clean? We sweep everything over into our dustpan. We can just kick this over and it will just suck away all the dirt. We also have a central vac on the cornerstone so we can connect our hose right here they put it in the middle of the coach for a reason. It's a 25 foot hose, so it can go all the way to the front of the coach and all the way to your master bathroom. Now we're gonna go into the half bathroom. Notice the beautiful raised panel doors. I think it's really lovely. They just finished out everything so nicely. And Tecra really has the market on the biggest half bath. So you come in here, um, cause you know, sometimes spouses do a little bit better. They each have their own space. I know a lot of spouses Get this bathroom and the other one gets the master bathroom so this is very doable you have a lot of counter space here you have a great medicine cabinet behind your mirrors the control panel here got a little place for our towels storage underneath the sink again the solid surface countertop with the integrated sink i love how they've changed the um, 
drawer pulls. They're nice and rounded, so nothing's going to grab the the loophole in your um, on your on your jeans and snag you up. And we have our ceramic toilet with push button controls. So we have the max air vent in the half bathroom. We have one in the kitchen, the half bath, and the main bath. Note that they're all framed out in wood, so they look really nice. Then we have over here on the wall the lights for the bathroom, the accent lights, the fan speed, up and down, and then the remotes for the shades. One of the highlights of the 45B is the big pantry. So you have tons of space with adjustable adjustable shelves. The center shelf is, is um, fixed, but then you have adjustable above and below. And of course, plenty of room for your national indoor RV snacks. <laughs> Here we are on the beautiful master bedroom of the 45B. So we, we have a king size sleep number bed and then this beautiful bedding, headboard. We have the uh, night lights back here that we can make a night light or a directional leading, reading light. And then we have our controls for our fan. So the fan comes standard in the Integra coaches. And then we have controls for our ceiling lights, our accent lights, our courtesy lights, the panel lights. So if we want to turn down the panel lights on um, any of our wall controls, we, we don't want those to keep us up at night. We can dim those or turn them all the way off. And then we have our day shades and our night shades and we can lock and unlock the coach from right here. So I don't know how many times I'm laying in my bed and I'm like, did I lock the door? So you can go ahead and lock it here. Another thing, if you keep that key fob with you, like I told you to do, you can also do it from the key fob. And again, you can turn on your um, docking lights from your bedroom if you hear something outside too, if you keep that key fob with you at night. So this is really all nice and beautiful. Then we have two little um, end tables on each side of our bed. So if you have a sleep apnea machine, you can put those there. There's one tin outlet and USB outlets on each nightstand and a little um, cabinet for storage. Then of course we have the under the bed storage, which always gives us a lot of extra space here. You can put your extra chairs down there. People can put their shoes, they find different use. It's pretty easy to get to. And then we have all this cabinet space. So we have nice deep cabinets up top, beautiful countertop here. And then we have the four drawers here. And then two deep drawers. One that's a little bit shallow, but really they're all nice. And then this is the control for our sleep number bed. And then of course we have our 32 inch LED Samsung TV. And behind it, we have our DVD player and our safe and a little extra storage room. Under the TV, we have the Bose soundbar. Here we have, a lot of people ask what this little dot is for. That's not a flaw in the beautiful woodwork. It's there for purpose. That's your glass break sensor. So you have one here at the back of the coach and one by the front door. So if someone tries to break the glass, when you've got your alarm set, someone tries to break your glass here, anywhere on the coach or at the front, that alarm will sound. And then you may be wondering what these are. You may have seen them throughout the coach. These are the thermistors, which communicate to the thermostat to keep your climate where you want it, where you want it set. In the 45B, we have great closet space. So I love how, first of all, they outlined the mirrors with the woodwork. Then we have the cedar line closet and the bar that goes all the way across, which is lit. That turns on and off when you open the closet doors. So I like that. Then carpet at the bottom. They've also given us some extra mats um, that we can use throughout the coach, which are really handy as well. Then as we go over here, we just go the sliding door here for our washer and dryer. So wash it below, dryer up here. You can set your laundry basket right on the top of your toilet to empty out the dryer. I think it's really handy. Now, if you've ever come into your coach and it smells horrible, like a sewer, you probably think that you have a leak or something. That's probably not what's happened. So uh, 
probably what's happened is that the water has dried out of your pea trough. So all you need to do is grab a gallon of water, put it into your washing machine, run it through the rinsing cycle, and it's gonna fill up that pea trough and get rid of that smell. Then we've got our shade here. Again, we have our Max Air Vent. Again, that's all framed out in wood, which looks beautiful. We have our push button water saver button and flush normal here for our toilet. One of the things that I love that Integra gives us is a towel bar. They also give us a hook here to hang a towel and then another towel bar as we go into the shower. Now I do want to point out the beautiful new backsplash for 2020. I absolutely love that. And then we have the optional seat too. So we can just flip that down. If we need to shave our legs, we can sit down. But if it's in our way, push it right back up. No problem. Then we have the shower head and the handheld device. I love to have both options. And then I just want to show you how big this shower is. I've got high heels on and my hands reaching up and I'm still not touching the top of that skylight. So plenty of room in this gorgeous shower. Here's the great vanity of the 45B. So we have the double sinks. And then my favorite part is last year, I believe it was, they added the medicine cabinet behind the mirrors. So this is great for storage. Look at all that space it gives you. Really nice. And then another added bonus. So if you open up this mirror and I open up this mirror, I can see the back of my hair. So I like that, a little bonus. And then we have great storage. Drawers, nice deep drawers, cabinets here to the side, a little flip drawer. No, plenty of room in the master bathroom for all of our toiletries. I wanted to show you the 45B with the slides in. So I could easily get to my king bed and sleep on that if I don't want to take my slides out, if I'm just at a rest stop overnight. I can get into my pantry. My half bath is fully accessible. And so is my kitchen. So I can use all my kitchen space, open my refrigerator all the way. Very easy if I want to be cooking, working in the kitchen while we're going down the road. And then there's a nice amount of space here in the living room area as well. All right, so here in the cockpit, I want to go over all the um, buttons to the left of the seat here. So I'm going to start with the battery boost button. Now that's super important. Um, that's when you take your chassis battery and your house battery and tie them together. Um, an instant when this might be necessary. I was just at the Perry FMCA show where we were dry camping. We had test drive vehicles out in the different lot that were not plugged in. I went out one morning with some customers, take them on test drive, and my batteries were dead. So I got in the coach, pushed the battery boost button to tie those two together, held it for a while, then I was able to start my generator. I let that run for a while, and then I was able to start the engine. So you'll, you'll definitely want to know and use that button when needed. Um, the next button is your main power disconnect. And this has a pet safety or a kid safety feature. So I can um, turn that on and off here at the dash, but I can also cover the button so that a, a, one of my furry friends can't accidentally put their paw there and cut off my power. Then I've got the tag dump. Um, but now this, I just always keep an auto. It will just always be an auto. The only time you might want to take that off is if you are trying to get some extra traction in mud to say, but typically just that's an easy one. Keep it, keep it on auto. Next we have our auxiliary brake and you have an on and off button. You've got these big red toggle buttons here. I like that feature a lot because I can find them without looking down while I'm driving. If I'm driving, I realize I need to stop quickly. Now remember, we're in, we have 605 horsepower here in the cornerstone. So I have 605 um, horses pushing me forward. If I wanna have 605 horses pulling me back, when I put that brake on, I wanna have my engine brake on high. Then I've got five buttons, and these are all for my day shades around the cockpit. So I have the driver's side shade button, the driver's shade in the day shade in the front, passenger's front shade, the door shade, and then the passenger shade. So I can control all of those from right here. None of these button 
control the nightshade because we don't want those to accidentally come down or be pushed while I'm driving. Next we have our auto traction control button. So this again is one of those buttons that you just always keep on. Um, if you, if you um, are in a situation again where you're stuck in mud and you need a little extra, you need your tires to spin a little bit more, then you could turn that off, but it will only turn off for a short period of time and then it'll go back into auto mode. It just stays on just kind of like it does in your car. The next button here we have is our easy steer. So this is a new feature for Integra. This is a great, so this is like a um, computer assisted driving um, help. So basically if I'm driving down the road, I have a strong wind pushing against the coach. This is going to, the computer is going to detect that and it's going to adjust for it. And if we have a camber to the road, the computer is going to adjust, the, fill that and adjust for it. So I should never be fighting um, the steering column here. I should just be holding it, just keeping me on the path, going down the road straight. Now I can adjust it to a higher or lower level. So I can just turn the knob here and you'll see on the dash how the green bar goes down. When it goes down, the steering column is gonna be very easy to steer and it's doing more of the work as I turn it up. I'll notice that the steering column will feel a little stiffer and I will be doing more of the work. This is probably my favorite button on this side panel here is the pages button. This way, once I've released the park brake, it will activate this. So I have to release the park brake. Now when I push this button, I can throw my navigation system right into the center of my um, screen. So that's really nice when I'm driving down the road. I don't need to look to the side. I can also change my screen over here to the radio or whatever. Now, I do have to put all my navigation information in on the screen here to the right side. I can't do that on the dash, but I can watch that as I'm traveling down the road and that makes it really easy for me. Okay, so now I've got uh, my navigation map up on my center dash here. If I push the pages button again, then it will go to my cameras. And if I push it again, it goes back to the normal dash readout. But if I push it one more time, again, I get still that my miles per hour, my RPM, they just move to the side and I have the nav system in front of me. So now I'm gonna scroll through the dial here and all the options and things I can do with this. So I'm on easy steer right now, but I'm just gonna turn it once to the right and I'm on my suspension and leveling. So I'm gonna press for more options. I'm gonna go to more. So right now I, I could be in I can take it to auto level. This is where you can see that it's gonna auto level. So these little, if the engine were on, it would auto level for me right now. If I go to manual, then you can see that I can manually adjust this um, suspension. Front left, front, front right, right, rear right, etc. Now, I might want to do this when I'm emptying my tanks so that I get a, a better angle for them to drain out. I may want to go to my right, select that, and you'll see that my front right and my rear right are illuminated. And then I can go over to low um, raise. I want to raise them and they will raise the front and rear right so I'll have a better angle when I'm dumping my tanks. Now I'm going to turn the dial one more time. That's my accelerator position. I'm going to push that down. I can scroll to select. And you can see all the different information. Accelerator position, engine load, oil engine temp, PSI boost, engine torque, exhaust temp. So a lot of information there. Now I'm at messages. Let's say that I turned on the coach with the coach plugged in. It would give me a message there that I had shore power so that I would know to go and unplug before we did anything else. Adaptive cruise control. So we're going to press that and I can change the distance to a shorter, medium distance or longer distance and then 
I can disable that as well right from here. Here we have our, our odometer in trip two. We have 190 miles left in our fuel tank and we're at 5.3 miles per gallon. So here's trip two information. If I push the button down, I'll go to trip one information. And then if I turn the dial again, I'll get my PSI of my tires. If I press that down, then I'll get the temperature of my tires. All right, now I can see all the tire pressure and the temperature of each tire. Then I'm gonna to go to towable connect, connected. I'm gonna put yes. And then I'm going to, and you see the little um, tow vehicle show up on the screen. Now I'm going to go to tow type. So the two wheels, I'm going to push that again. Four wheels, six wheels, or we'll go back to your car. At National Indoor RV Centers, we have the ability to do everything that you need done for your tow vehicle. So we can add the blue ox, the braking system, and we're able to add the tire pressure monitoring system so that that will be monitored on this screen as well. Sound volume. So I can adjust the sound volume on all the different knobs. So if I put on my blinker, I can turn that volume up or down and save it. Units is where I can change everything to metric service reminder and we don't really do that you just know that you need to have your engine serviced once a year or every 15,000 miles screen position so I like this because if you're shorter or taller you may want to adjust where that screen is on the monitor so I like it to be a little bit higher so I'm going to save that Diagnostics, this is for your technicians. Configuration, we're not gonna work with that at all. And then we're just gonna go back. Now, the rest of the controls are pretty much the same as they were last year. We have our courtesy lights and our accent lights. So courtesy light, this is gonna be the headlight just to blink it. So if a semi passes me, I wanna let him know that it's safe for him to pull ahead and pull back into the lane. So I would just blink that once. If I were to pass a semi and he let me know that it was safe for me to pull in, then I would flash these lights three times just to say thank you. Now this is also our cruise control here. So I just would turn that on, get up to the speed that I want to um, be at, and then hit set. I can resume if I have to hit my brakes, and I can cancel from here too. I can also put the coach into a high idle. I'm in a hurry to get it aired up. I can come in, turn on my cruise, cruise control, hit set, and my RPMs will start to raise and it will air up a little bit quicker. Now over here on our on the right hand side we have our windshield wipers. So just hit those to put them on. Turn them off. But if I want to set my own um, timing for the windshield wipers, then I would go ahead and turn them on. Count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Hit that again. And now it will go at that unique interval. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Until I turn them off. I also have my windshield wiper fluid here as well. So new for 2020 on the steering column, we have hand controls. So we have the, we can adjust our pedals here. We can telescope. Over here on the left hand column is the tilt control. Here's our Allison transmission monitor. So we can actually select reverse, neutral, drive. We can also go into our economy mode here and uh, transmission kind of diagnostics here. And we can select the gear that we want to go into and the monitor will show us which gear we are in. So I talked about when I was outside the coach, an easy way to check your transmission health, basically. So you're gonna go ahead and push the plus and the minus arrows together. And it's gonna let me know that my trans oil is one quart too high. So this is where I would wanna take this, my coach to National Indoor RV Centers and have a technician 
drain one quart of oil from the transmission. The oil life is good, 99%. Filters are okay. Trans health okay. No codes. And then back to neutral. Okay, here we have our menu button. So we've got our radio. I wanted to note that we have the JBL sound system in the front cockpit. It actually has 11 speakers and Integra has a technician come in from JBL to calibrate and fine tune the system for optimal sound. Media Center, XM radio, Bluetooth, HDMI, camera. So this is one I wanna spend a little bit of time on. This is huge. For 2020, Integra has added the 360 camera with the bird's eye view. So see right here, we can see all the way around our coach. And there's different views that I can see too. I can go the right or the left, front or the back, or the back or the front, excuse me, or both sides, left and right, left, right, rear, or I can get left, right, front, and rear. But I really like this bird's eye view. So when I'm driving the coach, I can see it's happening all the way around me, front, back, side to side. And you have an iPod, then your Rand McNally system. All right, a really cool thing that we can do with our nav system, obviously I've shown you how you can put it on the dash right in front of you, but we can also throw it up on the overhead TV. This is great for your passenger, also great if you've got anyone traveling with traveling with you, like the kids that are saying, how long will we be there? Well, they can watch it themselves this way. So all you have to do is put your TV, your overhead TV on HDMI one, then on your matrix box, put it to the Excite selection, and then you just unplug from the ignition lockout in this cabinet in the right hand corner, put that in a regular outlet, and then when I turn on the ignition and put and release the park brake, I'll be able to throw the navigation system up on that overhead TV. So you can actually put that on all the TVs in the coach if you want. And just a little disclaimer, the Department of Transportation does not allow you to watch TV or movies up there, but you can have navigation on your overhead TV. And our setup button. So this is where you can kind of customize some of the things on your screen. I get a lot of questions about um, when this when the screen is off, it just goes to Integra Coach. And some people want that just to be blank. So you could go to your standby screen here and select off. Easy as that. Or if you need to change the language from English, that's how you do it there. Auto dim. You can change that there. Very easy just to customize your settings. All right, so then we've got the control setting for our AC and heat, hot and cold, and then our fan speed here, HDMI input, USB, and 12 volt. Of course, we've got our lovely backlit uh, red cup holders, little tray for our keys, and a nice little tray that's nice and sturdy four keys or whatever we want to put there. And then just around the corner here, we have our 110 outlet. All right, so now we're gonna go over the Vega Touch. There's lots of great information and we can do a lot of functions for the coach right from this screen and we can download it onto an app as well. But right now we're at the home screen. So it's gonna tell us the time of day, the date. It's going to give us an error, seeing that we have a voltage error, low voltage. This is our interior light and our exterior lights, and then you can actually set them just like you would your radio or your, your seat in your luxury car. So say I want to have like a theater mode, I can set those lights and so I can just go to setting two, that's my theater mo mode. Day shades, night shades, away and stow. Then I've got temperatures for the bedroom, kitchen, living room, bay, and our exterior temperature, our AC source is an inverter so you can see that we don't have any amps coming in from our leg one or leg two our um, chassis doesn't have any volts right now and our house has 11.8 this is our auto gen start and that's where i can um, customize those settings there this shows that the inverter is on and we can start and stop the generator from here and it also shows that we have 0.9 hours on our generator 
This will give us the levels of our tank. So fresh, gray, and black. We can turn on our water pump from here and our engine preheat from here. This would be our diesel heat and this is our electric heat. Now remember, down here in the corner, if you ever can't remember how to use one of these buttons, hit the question mark and it will give me, um, tell me what, it will give me the help and answer my question. And just close it and go back to that. Hit it again to take away the question marks and we can move to the next screen. Okay, this is our auto gen start. And if we press that, we can please confirm operation. Would you like to enable the auto gen start? So we can say start or cancel. So we're gonna start that. If I press and hold, then this takes me to the page where I can actually adjust my settings. So we can have it start, start based off of a volt um, base start or a climate start, and we can set our quiet time. So we can customize those settings all on this page. All right, let's go to our lights. So all of this stays the same. Right now we're in basic mode. So if I wanna just turn off the living room, I guess touch and hold there. And I can turn off all those lights. And it actually goes dark on the screen. I can turn them back on. Now if I wanna go to, say I wanna control just an individual light, I can go to control mode. Now I can, con I can turn off an individual light. So, or if I want to adjust the brightness, I can just hold the button and bring it to whatever brightness I'd like. So now if I've adjusted the brightness, but I want to take it all back to full light, I just hold the master light button here and it will go back to full light. All right now we want to go to our shades. So this is just like the lights. Basically, we, we're in the basic mode. If we want to do the shades for just the living area, then we can just hit that right there. Now it's going to ask me, do we want to do the day shades, all the day shades, or the night shades? And I can select it that way. Or I can go to control mode, and I can just do that one individual shade. I can put the day shade down or up, or the night shade down or up. So it's pretty basic, pretty easy. So now we're gonna to go to the house. So this is actually our exterior lights and our slide and awning mechanism. So right now we can turn off the, the lights and we can see what their brightness is. That's cargo lights. Cargo lights or the underslide. This is up here, the awning lights. Now this is so we can use, um, we can extend or retract the slide. So we're gonna have that warning. I'm gonna close that. Now you can see that I can extend or retract all the slides and the awnings. So the door awnings, the first Gerard awning, second Gerard awning. All right, so let's go to climate. You can see right now that we have the bedrooms at 75, kitchen 76, living room 78, and the bay is at 69. Right now we've got the AC on in the bedroom and the heat on in the living room. And right now, if the heat goes below 78 degrees, then our aqua hot's gonna turn on. We could switch that and make that the heat pump, take the aqua hot off. We can set that however we want. And we can also synchronize all these together. So right now, cool, heat, heat. If I just hit this button here, it's gonna synchronize everything to how I have it set for the living room. We can also turn the heat, the floor heat on and off here. And then we can go to our kitchen and bathroom. So we've got these little fans. If I wanna turn the fan on in the stool room, I can do that right from here. If I hold the button down, then now I can actually adjust those settings so that if it goes above 77 degrees in the coach, it will turn on, it will go to high, or I can change that to medium and I can actually set a timer on that as well. We also have diesel heat and electric heat, so we can select either or both of those. You can also schedule your thermostat, so just like you have at home, if you want the AC to come on at a certain time of day and go off at a certain time of day, you can schedule your RV like that the same way you do at your home. All right, so this goes to all of our TVs. 
So say we want to turn on the TV in our living room. We can select what we want to watch. Let's say we want to go to the Blu-ray player and it's going to load from the Blu-ray player and start playing on the TV. It will actually change the setting in your matrix box at the same time for you. All right, another thing that you can do from here is go to theater mode. So if I hit on, it's gonna run down all the nightshades in the living room area and dim the lights. So this is kind of a master shut off or control panel for some things that you use all the time. So your AV off, your fans, your locks, your cargo locks, and we can edit this as well. So if I wanna edit my homepage, if I want to add something here that I use a lot, I would go back to that page say that I want to add the entry locks there. So I'm gonna edit my home. I'm gonna select entry locks. Now when I go to my home page, I've got the entry locks there. If I decide I wanna change that again, go back to that page, reset home. And it's gone. So if you want to add anything to this screen, you can do it easily by just doing the add edit button. And you can scroll, say you want to add um, fast ceiling, save and close, and there it is. Now, if I want to add that to my home screen, I can say edit home, bath ceiling, go to my home, there it is. So very easy to customize. All right, go to the settings page here. So let's go to display. This is where you can adjust the brightness of your screen or you can mute the sound. So if you wanna mute it here, you can make it louder or softer and you can also do hours that you want it to not make any sounds at all. Software, this just tells you the current version of your Vega Touch. This is where you can check for updates, diagnostic check, and do not ever restart your screen unless you are told to do that by a Firefly or Integra Coach employee. So sleep, this is going to show, um, after five minutes of inactivity, the screen will go back to sleep mode, which sleep mode is right there. This is the information that you're getting when you're in sleep mode. So after five minutes, it will go to that sleep mode. This is the information you're getting, the clock, date, day, temps, and then you can also select, select sleep time. And then on your climate button, this is the information you're seeing at the top of the screen, living room, kitchen, bedroom, bay. User, if you wanna change the background color, of your Vega Touch, you can go into, you can select these, change the color, and then you have 15 seconds to select it. Images, this is where you download images if you wanna put pictures of the kids or your pets up here, rather than the sleep screen. And pairing, this is where you can take your cell phone, you can scan this QR code, and it will download to your phone. You'll be able to do all these functions that we do on the Vega Touch from your cell phone. And again, if you have any questions, remember you can always go to the little question mark and get those answered. All right, another busy day here at the Lawrenceville, Georgia dealership. We're gonna get ready to go, but I did wanna show you how to start the cornerstone because we have the keyless fob. So this needs to be near the front dash when you go to start. Then it's as easy as putting your foot on the brake, push the button and hold it, and you start right up. So now I'm just gonna get comfortable, get my seat in the right position. Remember I've got my hand controls here on the dial so I can move my pedals and tilt the steering wheel, and it looks like we're ready to go. Okay, so remember one of the most important things when you're driving a Class A diesel is to remember where your turning point is. So that's in the center of your front axle. So that's actually gonna be behind me, pretty much right where that um, 
the balance is on the passenger's seat. So I'm, once I'm at that point, um, when my front axle gets to the turn, that's when I make my turn. So you're going to put your nose way out, which initially when you're driving, that feels a little bit uncomfortable, but I promise you'll get used to it really quick. Release the parking brake. Now the parking brake is on this side here for a reason. That's in case anything ever happens to me as a driver. My co-passenger can reach over and throw that it, pull that and bring us to safety. All right, so we're getting ready here. We're coming up to our first right turn. One of the things I want to talk about are our convex mirror or the bottom third of our mirror. I, I tend to watch those a lot more than the flat portion. Um, I can see my rear tires. I can see if I'm getting too close to a curb and I can stop and adjust before I hit that curb. Um, so I tend to watch those really closely. That and my uh, side camera when I put on my blinker. I'm now seeing down the full and I can see that it's ready to go. I'm gonna pull out. I'm at my turning point and I can easily stay in my lane. That's another thing let's talk about. So when we first start driving a Class A diesel, it um, feels very uncomfortable. It's hard to stay in your lane. Um, you feel like you're too big, but you absolutely fit, obviously. And then most new drivers have a tendency to want to hug the right side of the lane. Um, I think they're afraid of getting too close to the cars that are coming, the oncoming traffic, but you really want to hug that, the left side of the lane that you're driving in. Don't always stay in the left lane, but hug the left side. Everything bad happens on the right. Potholes, road debris, street signs, pulled over cars, whatever it is. So you can totally, just in those convex mirrors again, you can watch, I can, you can keep yourself easily in your lane. Remember, for 2020 Integra Cornerstones, they've added the easy stare. So the, that's a computer-aided driving assist. It's gonna make this coach even better driving than it was before, and I thought it was excellent before. So that's just another device they've given us to help making the, make this just a really enjoyable coach to drive. Also wanna point out, Another great thing that Integra gave us in 2020 to make this coach super easy to drive is our 360 camera. So right now you can see um, that I'm staying in my lane nicely, aren't I? <laughs> and you can see what's all around us. So cars can going to be passing us here soon. You'll be able to see that. There you go. I really like that. I think that's a huge driving aid. And now I can see what's on both sides of the coaches, in front of me and behind me with just a glance. Okay, so here we are, I'm at a stoplight. I've got the regular dash you know, display in front of me, but now I wanna throw my navigation system up there so I don't even have to glance over to my right anymore. I'm just merely gonna push the pages button. There's my um, nav system so I can see right where I'm headed. Or if I wanna be able to see that 360 view right in front of me as I'm traveling down the road and not have to glance over to my screen, I can throw that up there as well. So pretty handy. Okay, so I'm going to get up and set my cruise control for 50 miles per hour here. Got it on. I'm going to set it. So my collision mitigation system is telling me that I was following too close to the car in front of me. It's giving me the distance right here and the speed that they're traveling. Yeah, my foot is not on the gas pedal or the brake right now. I'm letting the coach do all the work for me. So it's adjusting my speed as needed. As he gets further away, it will speed me back up. If you're in heavy traffic and your collision mitigation is beeping at you too often and it's driving you crazy, remember that there's a setting right here on your pages that you can go over and you can disable that completely so you can get rid of that beeping if you don't want it. So you can have it if you want it or you can get rid of it. So right now you can see that I'm a little tired of the beeping so I'm going to go ahead and hit disable and you can see that ACC is turned off. Now I have a lot of questions about the engine brake and when we should be using that. If you're driving around town you really shouldn't have that on. If you do you're going to end up getting a glazing on your brakes. Sort of that sound that you hear on the garbage trucks that kind of squeak. Um, so good rule of thumb is if you're using your cruise control then you probably ought to have your engine brake on. All right I'm going to go ahead and show you the wheel cut on this cornerstone. So I'm going to get into my left turning lane here 
and I'm on the highway and I'm going to flip a UV. So I think that you all will be impressed at how well this coach handles. All right, you guys, I didn't leave the pavement. I came close, but that's probably just a uh, user error. <laughs> But I made that U-turn, so just want to know that you can do this in a big coach. On the cornerstone, you have the collision mitigation system, the adaptive cruise control, the um, electronic stability controls. If you go around a corner too quick, it's going to take over the brakes as needed if it feels like you're in danger. Um, we have the, let's see, did I get them all? We have, now we have on 2020, we have the easy steer. So that's going to help us drive when conditions aren't the greatest, a strong wind or a bad angle to the road. Um, it's going to make that easier. We also have the awesome 360 camera. Again, I can just hit, simply hit my page and I can put that camera right on my dash. I really like that. So there's just so many aids to make driving this cornerstone easy. Um, I know a lot of my RVers want to RV and enjoy this lifestyle as long as they can. And I think these extra safety features um, and extra aids really will keep us all on the road enjoying this lifestyle much longer, enjoying this beautiful country. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough of the 2020 Integra Cornerstone 45B. Now I'm sure you're wondering what it would cost for you to get into this beautiful coach. The manufacturer's suggested retail price is $748. 404 or map pricing which is the manufacturer's advertised price is 561 303 now if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it then please hit the like and subscribe and if you want to know what i can sell you this beautiful coach for then please give me a call at national indoor rv centers at our 1-800-250-6354 number have a great day